Hey everybody, it's Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Now last time we went over the alias command. The alias command allows you to create another name for a command. So, for example, right here we have the definition of an alias, and it says that d1u from this point on will be equal to date space dash u, which is the Unix command for give me the date via universal time, which is the time that goes through England. However, there's something else you can do with the alias command. You can assign two commands to one alias. It will run two commands with one alias. Let's take a look at that. Here is the syntax. It says, and this is just an example, a generic example, we are defining an alias because we have the word alias in front. Our alias is going to be called sc1 for shortcut 1, and it will be equal to whatever is in between those two single quotes. And that would be command 1, semicolon, command 2. In corn shell, when you want to put more than one command on one line, you type in one command, you put a semicolon, and then you put the other command in. Now, when corn shell sees this, it goes and executes the first command. It sees the semicolon and treats that semicolon as an end of line. So it knows that this is one command, and this is another command, and this semicolon is basically your carriage return in between the two commands. In a real example, right here, we define a1 to be equal to run the date command, the Unix date command, which gives you the time and date locally, and then afterward run the uptime command. And as you can see, we have our semicolon in between them. So from this point on, every time the corn shell sees A1, it will run the date command, and then afterwards it will run the uptime command. And here is our running of the commands. We just have A1, which is equal to this, and we have D1U, which is equal to that. Let's run our script and see what happens. Our first alias was the date command followed by the uptime, and this is what we get. So, as you can see, it did run both commands. It gave us our local time, Eastern Daylight Time here, and it gave us the uptime for the system, which just tells you how long the system's been up and running for. And afterward, we had our D1U alias, which was supposed to give us the date via the universal time, which is the time that runs through England. And as you can see, the UTC, which is the time that runs through England. So once again, if you want to define an alias to be equal to more than one command, just put the commands there and separate them with semicolons. And of course you could put three commands or four commands, but in between each command you just put a semicolon. 